Guys, I just got a new box in the mail. We've got some products to open today. Well, let's go ahead and jump into this box and see what they sent us. Well, there they are. It looks like Peel sent us their new super thin iPhone case as well as their edge to edge glass screen protector. First, let's talk about this jet black case. Um, I'm going to be sending this out as part of a giveaway for my subscribers. So if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and you will be entered as one of the people who can win this case. Today though, we're gonna be looking at this edge to edge screen protector. We're gonna put this on my iPhone 7 and see how it holds up. All right, I've got my iPhone 7 here. We're going to use that for all of our tests. Now let's go ahead and open this up and see what comes in the package. So now that we got this open, here's everything that comes in the case. It comes with a little card that talks about Peel's story, about them as a startup, about their owners, and then gives you the steps on how to go ahead and install this screen protector. It tells you first to use the microfiber cloth to remove grease and smudges, peel off the back of the dust sticker and press it against the screen to remove dust. Go ahead and peel off the plastic, then carefully line up the holes on your peel glass over your iPhone. Lower onto the screen. And here we go. So they've got the microfiber cloth. Now I really was hoping to have one of these covers on my phone specifically because it started to show signs of scratching. Let's go ahead and clean that off. We've got that wiped down first. Now let's go ahead and wipe it down again with the microfiber cloth. From there we have this sticker that we can use to remove dust. So let's go ahead and do that. It's probably pretty important that you don't go ahead and touch the face after this step, which I just did. Now we have the screen protector itself that comes in this packaging. Wow! I did not expect this. This looks like the entire face of the iPhone. I've never seen any screen protector that looks quite like this. This is really unique. Well, let's go ahead and, and put it on and we'll see what it does. I'm pretty excited about this. There's the screen protector. You can see it actually has borders. And there it is, we press down, we're now smoothing it out. It looks like I ended up with one piece of dust under there. I have the screen protector on, and now we're going to look at it from a few different angles and get an idea of how well it worked. I went ahead and peeled up the screen protector to pull off the piece of dust that was caught underneath earlier. In doing so, this actually required that I peel up one of the corners, and unfortunately in doing so, it must have bent the screen protector just slightly because it won't seat perfectly in the corner anymore. Yeah. Using the piece of cardboard that came with the protector, I was able to work out all the air bubbles and the rest of it seated just fine. The tolerancing of the cutouts and the screen protector on the whole are very precise, fitting the face exactly as it should and unaffected by the rounded edges of the iPhone. In fact, when looking closely, the edges of the screen protector are rounded to more precisely fit the contour of the screen. This is definitely a pitfall of a lot of the other screen protectors out there for the iPhone 7 that don't account for this and thus don't fit perfectly. It wraps completely around the home button as well, unlike many other screen protectors. I really like this since you feel less of the edges when pressing the home button. Now let's talk about performance a little bit. The screen protector has not hindered the phone's ability to detect inputs in any way, shape, or form. And in fact, it feels very much like the glass does without a screen protector, so it's very difficult to notice that it's even there. I actually really love the black bars on the top and bottom of the protector. It makes it feel more like a replacement face for the phone and less like just an additional screen protector. While the protector has black chins on both the top and bottom, it does have the proper transparency for both the camera and for the sensors on the top. In terms of durability, I haven't done any sort of drop tests on the screen, but I have taken a steak knife to it and it survived that without a single scratch. I've been using it for about a day or two now and I've had it in my pocket with my wallet, with my keys, and it hasn't shown any signs of scratching or wear yet at all. I'm going to keep using it and if I see any differences, I'll throw an annotation here to let you all know. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful for you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and as an added incentive, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because all of my subscribers are going to be entered to win some free products by Peel. Those products will be drawn here in the next few weeks, so go ahead and get subscribed. I'll catch you in the next one.